Hello, my name is Dmitry Bardano, and I'm a PhD student at Montreal Institute of Learning Algorithms, where my advisor is Yoshio Benjo. In this video, I will present the latest project that I worked on, which is called Learning to Compute Word Embeddings on the Fly, and which is a joint work with people from Yagelonian University, Montreal Institute of Learning Algorithms, and DeepMind. Uh, the problem that we address is the fact that there is a lot of rare phenomena in language. For example, there is a lot of rare words and the distribution of rare words is, has, has a very heavy tail. There can be idioms in the language, they are rare and named entities and geographical entities are rare. So prior to this work, the approaches to deal with the sparsity were either to use restricted vocabulary and learn embeddings only for a short list of words or used embeddings for train on vast corpora. The alternative approach that we investigated uh, proposes to use dictionary definitions. Uh, we try to add another network to our main network that, that is trained to read the dictionary definitions and produce an embedding which is useful for the main network to solve the down, downstream task. For example, here, there is a rare word, archigonium, and the definition reader is trained to produce a useful embedding of this word. And the whole system is trained together end to end. We, we evaluated our approach on reading comprehension, which is a task in which a question about a passage should be answered. And we found that using dictionary definitions allows us to narrow the gap between the baseline approach and using uh, embeddings pre-trained on 840 billion words. And we found that the improvement that dictionary definitions brings adds up with the improvement that spelling, that using spelling brings. Uh, and we also were able to we were able to see how having a dictionary definition, for example, for the word autumn, allows the model to match this word with the word season. And without dictionary, a similar model cannot do it. We also evaluated our model on the task of textual entailment, which is, uh, and we found that it is also helpful to use definition in this problem. And. Uh, uh, we found, as expected, that uh, most of improvement comes from examples that include rare words. 